Yetta, do you know how many hours we've spent on preparing and recording shows about relationships in the last year? Just in the last year? Yeah. I probably have no idea, and I can't believe you calculated that. I did. It's about 204 hours. So that's over five work weeks. In the last year. In the last year. Just, just on relationships. on relationships. Shows. Yes. Okay. I don't know, guys. Moving forward with the Decker team. Moving forward together with the Decker team. We are excited that we've created for you free access to over 587 Life's Inside Track episodes where we share insider tips, making house home, making the most out of your relationships, and building wealth. And the great news is you can get access to them from home, from the office, or on the go. And we're going to this time explore how we can grow and develop relationships, either new relationships or existing relationships. Based on time, Mm -hmm. time in. Yeah, time's important. And hopefully, because it's currency, right? Yeah, hopefully, the hours we put in, you also put in listening to us. Hopefully, not as many, because that means they listen to every show 10 times. But if they listen to every show, that would bring in the frequency, right? And so that's, I think, why sometimes when we sit down with a, a client who's saying, hey, We want to ask you about pricing our house or selling our house or buying a house. They go, I feel like I know you because we've been interacting, conversing for years. 12 years. It's a long time. So have you been, well, we've been interacting with you. Hopefully you've been interacting with us for, I guess, yeah, 12 Mm -hmm. years. And so the cool thing is it is about time, Mm -hmm. like time with someone, or we call it the duration in each sitting even. Yeah. Right? Because if I have... The time is longer. Right. Whether it be, you know, we we connect for half an hour, or you come and stay with us for three days over a long weekend, it's a different connection. Well, there's a totally... Builds relationship. Right. There's a different... There's quantity quality inside the quantity Mm -hmm. like that old thing is you know kids just want quality time well i know with my kids a lot of the quality came out of the quantity absolutely right it's like i've heard it said like if you went to a steakhouse and they said okay we've got we've got this steak it's it's full of grizzle and bone and it's it's gross it's going to take you hours to chew it We've got this steak that's really nice, or we've got this filet mignon, which is the most tender, most juicy, best tasting steak. What if you don't eat steak? Well, it's an example, Yada. Okay, okay, okay. And you say, well, I better take the best, the quality steak. And then when it comes, it's the size of a dime, right? And you go, wait, 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 where's my steak? This, This is like a sample. And he says, no, no, that's our best quality steak right there. Well, your kids are the same, right? They don't want best quality of 30 seconds with you a day. They need some quantity with their quality. Right. And I found with our kids and our grandkids too, the quantity often allowed the quality to show up. So if I walk in and I go, so what do you, what, you know, what was the best thing that happened to you today? It's like, I don't know. Whereas if we've been sitting and we've been building a puzzle together, we've been playing a game, one mm-hmm. of their favorites, hopefully, or doing something that makes them laugh. And then I ask the question, they have a very different answer. Yeah. They're so, very engaged already, right? Right. So if you're engaged already, already part of the dialogue, even if it's not a dialogue about that thing, the quantity allowed for the quality. And I'm not mm. saying that playing games wasn't quality. It's just a different level of quality so they, or it's a different type. So it's kind of, they go hand in hand, like glove in hand, right? Because if you have quantity of poor quality, let's say oh. you're yelling at your kids because you're frustrated and, and you're distracted on your phone, you're looking at videos on your phone or you're watching TV and it's not something they want to watch, so you're not doing side by side, but you're distracted, that 
kind of time can actually have a negative impact on your relationship rather than build your relationship, even mm-hmm. though you're spending time together, but you're not really together. Right. If that makes sense. It, absolutely. And as you talked a few minutes ago, you were saying like Life X is a book that we've mm-hmm. written that's coming out soon and was subtitled. Do you remember it? It is Simple Steps to Achieve Living Exponentially or Exponential Living. Mm-hmm. Right. And re- we've played with like a dozen different subtitles. So the fact that it's not rolling out of our mouths yet is because we probably three dozen subtitles until yeah. we settled <laughs> was settled until we decided to embrace this one because all the others were settling. And, and we even put it out in front of our friends yeah. and said, which one do you like? Right. Lots of times. And so that's even time on something like a subtitle. Never mind time with people, like investing thinking time, investing um, physical present time. If you're not present, we could, if we weren't present, we could never have got to that. Mm -hmm. Right. So if you want to be on the get it early list, you want to email us at the office together at deckerteam.com and we'll make sure. And if you live like in the Ottawa area, I'm sure we can arrange for autograph copies. I haven't said that before. Oh, no, we we can. can. Yeah, we can. I don't think we can. They'd have to come and see us to get their copy. Exactly. Because it's going to be ordered through Amazon. Right. But that's fair. They can come see us. They can come see us and we'll autograph it. Yep. Together at the same time. That's a big commitment, (laughs) Yetta. Maybe one autograph. That's, that's, <laughs> I don't know. That's time. That's quality time. That's being present. That's doing more than just. You know what would be efficient? The norm. Is the autograph label. Ah, I'm not doing it. You're not I doing know the lots autograph of people label? do the autograph, we'll autograph label. labels and stick them no, in. No, I'm not doing it. Not I doing think it? that's just but not they get okay both for our us. autographs in. They still will. I promise you. <laughs> I have some clout with Mr. Decker. You so, have a lot of clout. Yeah. Okay. So one of the stories that really drove this quantity and quality thing home mm-hmm. was during COVID, we had a friend that we just met at the beginning and she would come and stay with us. So there was lots of time together. Because she was single. Yeah. Ju- yeah. And, and she was allowed, like we were a couple, so we weren't allowed to have someone in, but because she was single, she's allowed to be with us. So we bubbled the three of us basically. Right. And and she couldn't travel and she couldn't do her regular routine. So we became the place. And the incredible thing that happened is we then traveled together about 18 months after this whole thing had started after like three, well, any started with one day at the beginning, just to make sure we actually were compatible in the same environment. (laughs) And then it it grew as much as seven days in one length of time. And when we was away, somebody said, how long have you known each other? And I said, 18. And before I could finish my next word, everyone I said that to would say, yeah, I can tell, like you guys have known each other forever. And I said, no, 18 months, not years. I know you're thinking years right now, but it's months. And that is what concentrated time, length mm-hmm. of time will do to any relationship that's going to carry. Like that's, that's worth the effort. Yes, absolutely. So, right. so, you know, how do you spell love? T-I-M-E. You spell love with time. And we're privileged to be growing alongside you because we're passionate about all of us being positioned for generational legacy. Moving forward with the Decker team.